TFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We have the Dow Industrials trading up 65, Nasdaq's down 34, S&P's off 7.5. Gold, gold contract down $2, traded at 18.19 an ounce. We have silver down 12 cents, $20.75 an ounce. Platinum trading up 5 at 9.10 an ounce. Light sweet crude up uh, down 2.20, 109.56. Notes and bonds, the 10-year note up 25 ticks, trading 117.16. 30-year up a full point, plus 22 ticks. Two ticks at 136.27 and King Dollar. King Dollar is up 611 ticks, trading at 105, 111. The euro is out here at a price point of 104. The yen is at 136.55. And the British pound is at 121 to 1 US dollar. We get over and we take a look at this marketplace, folks. Good to have out here is this. You got a sideways move. Yesterday was a really cool day. And what I mean by that is this is that you had the SP and the Dow go to higher price with lighter volume and give it up. The NASDAQ went lower with heavier volume. The correlation is very hard to do. And it's another confirmation that we're going lower in a big way. Specifically what, and I'll explain it when we, when we start this program out. But the bottom line, SPY right now is down 87. You trade 87 cents, this is trading at 47, uh, 47 million shares. Uh, bottom line, we take a look at the NDX 100. Inside the three Qs, three Qs out here trading uh, down 42 cents, uh, 46 million shares. So you get, you know, basically it's a sideways move. Now, gold. Gold had caught a bid this morning, folks, and gave it up. Unbe it's not unbelievable because when we go to the dollar, you're going to see what happened. So gold had some action going this morning. It did push higher, had 144,000 contracts. That being said, you still got a sideways move. Platinum is held. Platinum was up $12 earlier. You're up five bucks now. We got to 9.33, you're at 9.10, you know, and let's just go to the dollar because the dollar, uh, the more I keep looking at this, bringing it up yesterday, this dollar, you know, bottom line looks to me like number one, you know, you, uh, let's see, 105, yeah, you're, you're already over it. You're already over the low. This dollar wants to go to 121, man. This is gonna be pretty intense. We go to 121, and that's one, gonna be one of the core reasons that you're gonna see this whole ABC structure get filled, and more than likely what we're gonna see is that we're gonna be down at the highs of the lows on all the indices of March 2020. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Dow Industrial's up 36, Nasdaq's down 38, S&P's off 10, we'll come right back.